All right, so today we're gonna to cover the difference between hypertrophy and atrophy. So let's go ahead and jump into this material. The very first one we're gonna cover is hypertrophy. The prefix hyper means excessive, above, or over. Trophy means nourish, growth, or development. Hypertrophy then is an excess in muscle growth or development. In other words, this is an increase in the muscle's mass or muscle size, usually due to the repeated use of skeletal muscles. These are the gains that we are all after when we're going to the gym and do three sets of 10 reps on the leg press machine, or we attempt to reach our one rep max on deadlifts, bench press, or squats. Now in this picture, the guy's skeletal muscles are a great example of hypertrophy. He's maxing out on deadlifts at, I believe, 385. And you can see that his deltoids are well-defined, his pectoralis major is well-defined, his biceps and his triceps brachii are massive, and his flexors and extensors of the wrist and hand are in great shape too. Check out this brachioradialis right here. Nicely defined and in great shape. You can also see this nice teardrop on his vastus medialis. His quadriceps are also in just great shape. So this is a wonderful example of hypertrophy. Now this is an increase in the size of muscle mass due to the repeated use of the skeletal muscles. In this case, this guy is consistently working out and exercising at the gym. Now keep in mind, this is not an increase in the number of muscle fibers that we cannot change. This is an increase in the size of the muscle fibers. Now let's have a look at atrophy. Atrophy, the prefix a means without. Trophy again means nourish, growth and development. So atrophy then is without muscle growth or development. In other words, this is the absence or loss of muscle mass or muscle size, usually due to the lack of use of the skeletal muscles. We've all heard the phrase, use it or lose it. Hey, this is true. If skeletal muscles are not used long enough, they will decrease in size. So same guy. Let's say that hypothetically that a pandemic hits globally and our friend here stops going to the gym because this virus is running amok throughout the country. And sadly, our friend here does not work out at home, eats a lot of junk food and watches telenovelas in his spare time. Finally, when he gets back in the gym, his skeletal muscles are no longer the size they once were due to the lack of use of his skeletal muscles. Now notice, this guy's skeletal muscles are normal size. Here we have his deltoid, his biceps and triceps brachii, flexors and extensors of the wrist and hand are no longer super massive. They've all atrophied. Therefore, our friend here will have to be consistent and disciplined in working out, exercising, eating right, and watching less TV if he wants to hit his goal and in increasing the size of his skeletal muscles. So one more time, hypertrophy is an increase in the muscle mass or muscle size usually due to the repeated use of skeletal muscles. Atrophy is the absence or loss of muscle mass or muscle size usually due to the lack of use of the skeletal muscles. Make sure you know this stuff. It is likely that you may see these terms on the Imblex. The Imblex will cover anywhere from 11 to 12% of kinesiology, meaning that there will be 11 to 12 questions. As always, feel free to reach out to me. You can find my email in the About Me section of our YouTube channel. Also, make sure you check out the Teachable platform with ample resources to help you prepare for the Imblex if you're feeling like you need a refresher before you take the exam. There are 100 multiple choice practice questions free of charge. Make sure you take advantage of that. Also, check out the Etsy account where you can find hard copy resources that are laminated that you can practice memorizing the major structures of the skeletal and muscular system with an expo marker. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.